right, so this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to remove this background color here on a document. I downloaded this document from Google Classroom, and if I print this, I'm going to have a bunch of, waste a bunch of ink on that brownish background here. So um, the, the way I delete that is I have a program called paint.net, P-A-I-N-T dot net, and it's a free program for editing. You can see a bunch of different ones here. I go to the one that says CNET because they're pretty reputable. And then I would download this, save it somewhere, and then run it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just not going to do that right now. But save this file somewhere you know, and then you can run it. Let's see, after you do that, you can either come to your the file that you want to change the background, right-click it, and say Open With. And you can select that paint.net, or you can come down here and type in paint.net and run this app right here. And that opens paint.net. But I need this mountain map inside here. So I can either click this and drag it in here. It's an easy way, or you can, if you know where you saved it, this is an easy way just to go to that document. This is it right here. And open it. Um, what I like to do, if you look down here in the bottom right corner, it says layers. I like to add another layer, layer 2, and then I like to bring that layer down here so it's the layer in the background. The one on the, the bottom is the background layer, even though that says background. Um, and I'm going to have it selected, so the blue means it's selected layer 2. I'm going to come up here to this. Looks like they're dumping a bucket of paint. So I'm going to select white, and I'm going to just pew, just click anywhere inside that document. And if you look, that whole, that whole background part is white. So next thing I'm going to do is there's a little magic wand tool. This is magic. So I you take that tool, and up here you see it says tolerance. And I usually use around 40% tolerance because I'm... That's about how tolerant I am with most things. So you can you can increase that, decrease it, based on uh, how much of that color or color close you want it to select. So right now I have the magic wand tool, and I am in this background. I have to reselect this guy because that's my original. And then I click the shift key on my keyboard, and then I left click the mouse. So that selects all that background. So now if I hit the delete button on my keyboard, all that color goes away. And that's about it. Sometimes you might have some little shades if it's a if it's a bad scan and then you can do the same thing, just click on that shady area, delete it. Um, so then I would save this this as a copy, save it as a copy. So right now it's some weird PDN type I'm going to change that to JPEG, and then just call it the same thing, or whatever you want to name it, done, whatever. Click OK. Um, it asks you what the quality is you want. I usually do high quality. And this is, you have to flatten it because we made two layers, so a JPEG can only support one layer. And there you have it. Now if you go back to your original directory, this is the new file. And you can print that with, without having the colored background. Pretty exciting. Um, you can also make that into a PDF if you really felt like it. Um, but that's all I do.